Hi everyone, I am Sridhar SM, Assistant Professor, Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering, BITM, Balari. In the previous video, we have discussed about strain gauges and the type of strain gauges. We have discussed wire wound strain gauge. Today we will discuss foil type strain gauge, semiconductor strain gauge, and capacitive strain gauge. Foil strain gauges. So these gauge are used generally in stress analysis and also construction of the transducers. The strain is sensed with the help of metal foil as against metal wire as a wire strain gauge. The foil gauge have much greater dissipation capacity as compared with wire wound gauges because of their greater surface area for the same volume. Due to this reason, they can be employed for higher operating temperature range. In these gauges, the bonding is better due to the larger surface area of the foil. And the foil gauges finds a wider field of action. The figure shows a typical foil gauge where a foil is cemented on a base and solder connections are taken out. The characteristics of foil gauge are similar to those of wire wound strain gauges and their gauge factor are typically same as that of the wire wound strain gauges. The resistance value of foil gauge which are commercially available between 50 ohms and 1000 ohms and the maximum gauge current is about 30 milliamps maximum strain for plus or minus 1 percent linearity is about plus or minus 0.3 percent and strain variation up to at least 50 kilohertz can be measured the advantages of strain gauges are excellent strain reproducibility and low hysteresis superior mechanical stability under prolonged strain and higher temperature conditions so these can be used for higher currents since terminals have no stress connection due to the absence of joints these have long life these can be economical on mass production this is about the foil strain gauges next we'll discuss about semiconductor strain gauges semiconductor strain gauges depends for their action upon piezo resistive effect that is the change in value of resistance due to change in resistivity these gauges are used where very high gauge factor and small envelope is required for semiconductor strain gauges semiconducting materials such as silicon and germanium are used a figure shows examples of the semiconductor strain gauges where a semiconductor material is placed with a base and terminals are taken out using a gold wire. A typical strain gauge consists of a strain sensitive crystal material and leads that are sandwiched in a protective matrix. The production of these gauges employs 
conventional semiconductor technology using semiconducting wafers or filaments which have a thickness of 0.05 mm and bonding them on suitable insulating substance such as teflon gold leads are generally applied for making the contacts and these have some advantages they have good gauge factor they are chemically inert and have low cross sensitivity and they are almost free from hysteresis and creepy effects because of integrated format of the actual gauge itself and high lifespan and a greater frequency response of about 10 to the power of 12 hertz and we have certain disadvantages they are sensitive to change in temperature and they have a poor linearity so this is about the semiconductor strain gauges next we'll discuss on capacitive strain gauges the figure shows a capacitive strain gauge it uses the principle of variation of capacitance with variation of distance between electrodes the electrodes are flexible metal strips of about 0.1 mm thickness the strain to be measured is applied to the top of the plate which changes the distance between the curved electrodes resulting in a change of capacitance the strain capacitance relationship in general is not linear but variation in dimensions and shape allow gauge characteristics to be chosen so as to match the range of the capacitance to be measured with a good degree of accuracy the capacitance strain gauge has capacitance of about 0.5 picofarads its overall size is 5 mm cross 17 mm cross 1 mm it uses a polyamide film for insulating material it can be used up to 300 degree celsius temperature so this is about the capacitive strain gauge and in the next session we'll discuss derivation of gauge fact and properties of gauge materials the different gauge materials used for the construction of the different gauge thank you